I was properly shaking, like yeah. trembling, couldn't really speak. Like I was the sc most scared I've ever been. Jacqueline Josser has broken her silence for the first time about the horrifying robbery she endured in Marbella in Spain. Now Jacqueline was on holiday in Spain with her husband Dan Osborne and their three children when they were targeted by mass raiders. Now the Sun first reveals details of the horrifying robbery last week which saw the family lose £20,000 worth of their possessions. Now in an exclusive interview with the Sun on Sunday, Jacqueline has spoken out and said this was the most scared I've ever been in my life. I'm starting to think did he have a kid in his hand? Just because now I'm overthinking everything. Now, this interview was incredibly emotional with Jacqueline. She spoke to us from where they were staying in Marbella, and she spoke to us that she feared about the lives of her children, Mia, Ella, and her stepson, Teddy. I was like, did he have something? Did he have a child in his hand? And I started panicking. So then I go back in Dan's room, make sure Mia's there, she is there. I go in the boys' room to make sure my nephew and and steps on Ted's there, they're fast asleep, the door's closed, they haven't been in that room. Now Jacqueline recalled that she was woken by a light in the house and then realised something had gone on. But most horrifyingly for her, she was terrified at first that one of them had taken her child. She said to us, did he have a child in his hands when she recalled looking at the man as she saw him running down the stairs. Now Jacqueline said she was trembling with fear when this was going on. I was properly shaking, like, yeah. trembling, couldn't really speak, like I was the sc most scared I've ever been. Now she immediately went and woke Dan, who ran downstairs and chased the men out of the house. Jacqueline said though her first concern was for Mia, Ella and her stepson Teddy, and that after raising the alarm she ran to check they were okay. Now robbers, when they broke into the house, they stole £20,000 worth of their belongings, including Jacqueline's £7,000 engagement ring and a Cartier ring and a Cartier bracelet that she'd been given as a present. But most upsettingly for Jacqueline, she said that the two men that had gone into the house had raided through their family's belongings, including their children's backpack. And incredibly, they actually stole young Mia's purse, which included money from the tooth fairy in it. After they'd calmed the children down and assured them that everything was fine, Jacqueline and Dan immediately contacted the police the next day. And worryingly, when they looked back at CCTV, Jacqueline recalled her horror at seeing that one of the men appeared to hold what looked like a weapon in his hand, she believed, either a knife or a screwdriver. And she said that seeing that CCTV back and watching it brought everything back home. Now, Jacqueline and Dan are working with the Spanish authorities to try and find the men who did this to them, but said ultimately that there are a spate of robberies in Arbea and they're unsure if they'll ever catch the culprits. Now, Jacqueline, Dan and the children have now returned home. Jacqueline says she now wants to use her experience to warn others to keep their family safe on holiday. She said that you should use a safe, you should make sure the property you're staying at has CCTV and just take every step you can to make sure that your property is secure. Now, while theirs was, they were incredibly unlucky and this was a really terrifying break-in that Jacqueline said has left her really worried, she's very anxious about it and she's still struggling now. But she said they'd now come home and she just wants to focus on getting back to normal and so she thanks her lucky stars that it wasn't worse.